Hi everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and on this tutorial we will cover the functions of the adductor magnus muscle, which is the muscle now isolated on the screen. The adductor magnus muscle is a composite muscle. This means that it has more than one part, each with a different innervation. Before we go any further, I would like to explain to you about this white colored non-textured portion of the muscle right here that you can see adjoining the proximal part of the adductor magnus. Now this is a variable structure known as the adductor minimus muscle. And by variable, I mean that it varies in shape, size, and also attachment points. Although the adductor minimus is often physically attached to then the adductor magnus, it is often considered as a separate muscle, hence why we blocked it out here just for clarity. If you would like to find out more about the adductor minimus, however, you will find another 3D muscle function video on our website specifically dedicated to it. As you can see on the screen, the adductor magnus muscle has a triangular fan-like shape. It consists of two parts, an adductor pubofemoral portion, and a hamstring ischiocondylar portion. And it is the largest and most powerful muscle of the adductor group. It has a gap in the distal attachment of the adductor portion known as the adductor hiatus. This allows for the passage of major vessels from the thigh to the leg and can be a useful tool in identifying the muscle. The adductor magnus muscle is located in the lower limb in the medial compartment of the thigh and is the most posteriorly located of the adductor muscles. The medial compartment can be found on the inside of your thigh closest to the midline of your body. The adductor muscles are in general innervated by the obturator nerve. However, the adductor magnus muscle is a little different. As we mentioned before, the adductor magnus muscle is a composite muscle. And if you remember, this means that the muscle has multiple parts which receive innervation from different sources. The adductor portion of the adductor magnus muscle is innervated by branches of the posterior division of the obturator nerve. As expected, since almost all adductor muscles are innervated by then the obturator nerve. But there is also another part of the muscle, the hamstring part. This portion of the muscle receives its innervation from the tibial part of the sciatic nerve. Just a quick note here, useful for practical exams are the root values of these nerves. The root values of the branches of the posterior division of the obturator nerve are L2, L3, and L3. L4, and in this case, the root value of the tibial part of the sciatic nerve is L4. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.